Matthew 28, verse 1. Now after the Sabbath, as the first day of the week began to dawn, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to see the tomb. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat on it. He sat on it. Not because he was tired. He sat on it. The throne of God is established on top of the obstacle to your miracle. He rolled away the stone not to let Jesus out. Jesus in John 20, after resurrected, walked through a wall. He can certainly walk through a stone. He rolled away the stone to let the observers see that it was empty. The veil was torn to let God out of the covenant because it had been fulfilled, but the stone was removed to let people in to see an empty tomb. The testimony of her own triumph and victory in every single situation in life. Jesus gave us a message that he is ready to back up. That message is the kingdom of heaven is at hand. It is within reach, the realm of God's dominion, the resurrection power of God is available for every situation, period, every situation. It's tasteable, it's experienceable, and I believe that oftentimes what the Lord is waiting for is for a bold preacher. I don't mean from the pulpit. I mean from our positions and stations in life. You study boldness in the scripture. When somebody would take what God was saying and doing and they boldly declared it, it attracted God into an impossibility. In Mark 16, it was the Lord attending to the bold decrees of the people of God that caused there to be an ongoing, sustained outpouring of the Spirit. He rolled away the stone and he sat on it. That should make you happy. He just sat out. Why? Because it's finished. It's done. 